angry day. It's an angry man out there tonight. But no, that's what we need. We need him to be aggressive, assertive, play with a chip on his shoulder. He carried us tonight. He had big shots. He defended. He made hustle plays. Didn't turn the ball over. Play like an all-star tonight. <laughs> now, he insisted had nothing, but of course, he has Had nothing to do with it. <laughs> no, nothing at all. Okay. Of I course. Ask, why is he angry? I don't think he's angry. I just said the way he played, it was like an angry dame. Yeah. Damery. <laughs> <laughs> that fueled you guys, though. I mean, it seems like you guys were in attack mode from the jump. Yeah, I think it helps we had a break. The all-star break is huge. You know, mentally, you get to step away. Physically, you get, your body gets a break. And I think it was good for all of us and just kind of step away for a little bit and understand what's in front of us. 28 games left, 27 now. A big home game against a, a really good team who's going to be in a, in a championship contender. You know, a team that's you know, chasing history. We're chasing the playoffs. We're trying to you know, put ourselves in a position where we're, we're right there. And we made a step forward tonight. Did Dame do anything to press you or surprise you anymore? No, we've seen a lot of different, you know, 40-footers in open gym in practice. Uh, he takes them, and he makes them at a, high, at a high clip, especially once he gets hot, once he gets going. So just try to tell him to continue to attack. You know, always just, you know, in his ear, don't settle. Get to the free throw line, because I know I'm not going to get there. So he's got to get there for, for the backcourt. CJ, how would you describe the vibe on the team right now? I mean, it's loose. I mean, we understand 27 games left. We have a unique unit, a bunch of young guys who are – you know, in a position they may have not been in before. So looks like you got that. You got a tan, man. Wow. <laughs> but we're just trying to take advantage of the opportunity in front of us and get as many wins as possible. You didn't just beat the best team in the league. You pounded yeah, it. Yeah, we will. Yeah. I mean, is, is that surprising to you? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, we, we work hard. You know, they're human just like we are. Um, tonight we jumped on them early. We defended better. We, we made it more difficult for them to, to execute, and we, we're at home. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to play better at home, protect home court, and when a guy scores 50, you're not supposed to lose. You beat a team like that, that by that margin. But what, what does that do for you guys? Or is, this, is this a win that can do more for you than one night? Hopefully, hopefully we can continue to win. But at the same time, it means nothing if we go lose five, six games in a row. So we got to build on that. You know, be consistent at home, win games we're, we're supposed to win at home, and then compete in the others. And I think we competed tonight. And if we do compete at a high level every night, we'll have a chance to win. I think it's chemistry and comfort. You know, when you go to a new team, you got new offense, you got new players, new roles. You're kind of finding ways to score, finding ways to assert yourself and, and find your niche. I think guys are starting to understand where they're going to get shots from, you know, when they're going to go into the game, understanding rotation and plays, and it's making the game funner because we understand where everybody's going to be at.